Let me see that bumpy. It's really good bumpy. It's not too bad, huh? It's getting big. Yeah. 15 weeks to go. $419 later, we have our insulation for the floor. Seems ridiculous because that's the size of our bus and uh, we're literally just using it for the floor and real well. So just to get a reality of what that cost. It's pricey, but it is pricey. Cheaper than a house. <laughs> yeah, not including the Havelock wool. Now they go, but in all this crap, we just crunch in the floor. We just painted it I two days see ago. One is scratching this beautiful floor. <laughs> uh, let's hope not. Oh, let's do it. Okay. Let me, let me put my purse inside Hi, we're Ashley and William. In October of 2021, we bought this school bus for $3,500 to turn it into our first official home for us and our two girls, Olive and Riley. We have since then spent most of our spare time getting this schoolie road ready. While it's taking longer than we may have expected, you may be wondering just how we got here. It really doesn't look like much right now. The next steps is William is putting those toolboxes in. We are going to put mounts on the roof of the bus to prepare for our solar panels. We've got two fans that we order. They're max air fans. So we're going to put one, I think, over here but between the kitchen and bath. And then we want to put one back towards the bedroom to have circulation flowing real nicely. I think we're going to get rid of this and we have decided to, we want to put a skylight in the middle to gain some extra height. And because we're going to cover some of the windows, we want to just get as much light as possible. So we're thinking right here, maybe the space of this and this opening to put a really nice skylight and add a little bit of height towards the middle. All right, the day has come. I have been avoiding this task for the longest time now, but I can keep putting it off anymore, so I'm gonna get it done today. I'm gonna do the undermount toolboxes installation, and that means that we gotta cut two massive holes. on the bus, on the side of the bus. One on the left and one on the right. Since we already have the uh, cutoff for our uh, AC condenser in here, I think it's safer to start on this side of the bus. Alright, check that killing cut. It is sweet. That was a pain in the ass. But I got that piece out. This is my mess. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and clean all these up. And start mounting the 
first two bucks. Okay, the cut is done. There's the toolbox, which we gotta reinstall the locks and William is pushing it to see how nicely it fits into the bus. There you go. Perfect cut, huh? Yep, we just gotta lift it up so that there's not this crack here. So it's all flush, but we're gonna do that with the- Perfect cut. With the jack ton, nice. Nice, buddy. It's gonna look good. It is gonna be good. Especially once, the, and from here, you don't see the little dings on the boxes. Oh, I, I got know. these two. Remember the really good kombucha? They have hard kombuchas now. Nice. That one, the Walker Brothers. So I got you some kombucha. Yeah. I guess all this hard work is paying off. I got only oh, the she... best pizza. Ooh. This is Junior's. Junior's? Yeah, we haven't been there in a long time. Sweet. Their slices are like bigger than Fellini's and it was the same price. It was $20. Sweet. So they're actually the same exact prices as Fellini's. All you their slices were for the Garrity's? Uh, right, it's my... <laughs> toolbox out to make sure the markings went through the holes. Well, why are you looking so hard? You're worrying me. I was worrying. <laughs> <laughs> I was like... But me, my goggles. Your goggles? Your goggles? My goggles. Outside, I was like, damn, it sounds like gunshots. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's pretty loud. But you're yeah, almost done. It's just two more. Yeah. Two more and that's it. That's it? Just two? So these bolts that William's putting in, you have to burn them in place. They kind of, don't they kind of like go into the position? It flattens them? Yeah, I mean, um, it's carriage bolts, so. Yeah. The square part. Has mm -hmm. to go into the into the hole, but obviously I don't have a way to make a square drill a square hole into it. So, so you're doing the flame torch. I, yeah, doing the torch to mm -hmm. heat up the metal. You hit, you put the uh, hammer the bolt in, mm -hmm. and it makes the shape molds the metal mm -hmm. while it's hot. That's a square shape. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. And then we're able to put the toolbox and slide it in and then put the bolts through the holes that we made in the toolbox that we lined up and screw it all together. First side's up and then we're jacking up the right side to match the holes. I think we got it big. We just gotta reinstall those locks so those doors quit falling down. We're getting more and more dingy up. having a little harder time. I'm gonna have to do a little adjusting. Oh, there he goes. Yay, look at that. Perfect. There's my man making shit happen. <laughs> he was so cute right now. Like you finally have some excitement on your face. <laughs> You're like, yes, one task is fine. Well, William is having to do a lot of this kind of by himself because I am five months pregnant, but so far he's doing a pretty good job. 
it's only gonna <laughs> probably it's probably gonna get harder and harder as I get more and more pregnant. I'm sure. Almost there. Almost there. Oh, that's our receipt flying away. It's got that thing we've got to return on it. It did not work. Well, thing. The white edging. Oh. How's it going? Good. Good. We're gonna have to give it a test drive after you get the locks on. Yeah. Kind of not flush with the bus. What's not flush? The box. What do you mean? Like the is it supposed to be bumped out some, or was it supposed to go underneath more? This supposed to be bumped out. This supposed to be more flush. Okay, okay, yeah. that's what I was curious. I yeah, thought that. Like All right, guys, it is time for the final reveal of the toolboxes. William's gonna show me. He finally got them fully installed, put some matting in them, and got his tools in them so we can see how they're actually gonna fit. What's wrong, Riley? No, y'all gotta stay in the gate. You gotta stay in the gate. Look at you. Are you excited? Are you excited? Wow, it looks good. Pretty nice, huh? Yeah. A lot of storage in there. What do you think? It looks nice. It looks great, babe. So he actually did toolboxes on both sides of the bus and I'm gonna show you real quick the other side as well. As you can see, we are on the other side of the bus and he also installed them here. I'm really happy with these. They have a little bit of, you know, a little bit of imperfections, but we got these undermount ones on Facebook Marketplace, which was kind of a steal because we got both of them for uh, $315, kind of a weird price. And they are also five foot long, they're 60 inches. But as you can see, William put this PVC to kind of like line them in around it. We actually painted these because we wanted some brass, but I feel like overall they look pretty sharp. Now we just need to wash this dirty bus.